good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all. This is uh, Flotilla Friday, um, 2021, uh, April 16th. And we're going to work on some massive wiki stuff. Uh, so let me share my screen. Um, Vincent, I wonder where you want to start. Um, do you want to know more about Massive Wiki? Do you want to know more about Obsidian? Do you want to know more about Git? So, do you want to pretty picture? What, sure? what are the pieces starting... we should have kind of in place, kind of at the ready to, or we just go into this? It's fine. So, I have Obsidian already installed. And so, I, I think what would be most helpful is to know, and I think. Just, Other people just getting set up obsidian on its own. Um, yeah, for me, it's like it would be helpful for you to kind of just kind of re mention what are the added benefits of using massive wiki on top of obsidian and then kind of what other things need to be installed and just the process to set it up is okay. for me the most helpful thing. Um, so the uh, maybe, so let's actually write those down. Um, so I wonder if you could say those again. So one is, um, what are the shortcomings of Obsidian that Massive Wiki helps overcome? And what are the, besides Obsidian, as of now, what are the main um, things that need to be kind of like downloaded, uh, right? So like, is it Git? You'll have to set up things on the terminal. Yep. Um, like what are the kind of main, right? What are the main things that need to be downloaded? And then kind of what's the process uh, after you have it set up of kind of like maintaining it and and being able to, to add to it. And maybe um, this could be helpful for the recording if I screen shared, because I, I literally have just got into Obsidian. And so maybe just kind of. If yeah, you want, that would be awesome. I could screen share and maybe just ask like very novice questions about what Obsidian is, because I'm still kind of learning. Um, I have it up as well, just FYI, I have Obsidian. I'm going to mention one more thing, which, or, or another question, which is, um, I, maybe, maybe this is a question for you, Vincent, maybe not, and we don't have to cover it. So why a wiki? Why would I use a wiki? Mm. Or how do I use a wiki with, with people? Right. Okay. So you're looking at kind of a basic, um, basic obsidian knowledge base. Uh, which is called a vault, of course. So this is the name of the vault, this top level one? Um, yeah, I think so. And then folders have, so then it looks like this is a folder. And then within a folder, there's files. So um, you can also rename it just by by um, uh, editing the title up at the top. Oh, up here? Yep. OK, cool. Um, where does this rearrange? Oh, this is actually letting you change the, um, oops. I think it, um, if you go over to the three dot menu in the upper right and say split uh, vertically or split horizontally up at the top of that, yep. Um, and then you want to mention where this on, is stored? Um, yeah, or when I, you I, get to it, I can. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So you could have two. You can have like two. Uh, yeah, you can have as many as you once. want. Um, and uh, it can be separate files, or it can be the same file. Um, one in Markdown view, and one in Preview view. It can be the, hmm. both of them in Edit view, um, and in different you know, different scroll positions. Um, uh, right now, Charles, these files are individual files and they're just text files um, on um, Vincent's computer in a folder called Catalyst, probably some, you know, someplace on his computer. <clears throat> and then um, templates and YWikis are subfolders of that top level folder. 
so the the file structure is really generic and you can do you know all the regular things that you would do with files you can do with these files so you could open them in text edit or notepad um, you can copy move them around um, in finder or um, your file explorer are those or can those i guess they can be synced in the cloud by mm -hmm. various means yeah as well but so, not, not native to Obsidian, though. That would be separate. Yes, yeah, so there's a plugin that we'll use for it. So you need to have a space after the hashtags to be able to make yeah. the formatting, right? OK. Yeah. I think for some markdown there's different flavors of Markdown, kind of, and, and some flavors might not require that, but it's a good practice. Hmm, OK. Um, so and how does one add links from one to another? Um, you put uh, double square brackets around the name of the other one. OK. So should this update to be one backlink? Um, your, your active window is the project template window. So if you click on the other one. Uh, OK, so this is what's linking to this one is a backlink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this has a forward link, technically. Yeah. OK. And which is you can visible. forward link to pages that don't exist yet, which is a, a cool feature of wikis. OK. So um, I think those are different colors. They don't look like it on my screen, but hopefully they look like it on your screen. Yeah, it's a like little a, bit lighter. Oh, actually, they look like the same as that color to me. Um, if you smell, well, maybe if you switched it to light, light theme, it would look different. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. In preview, it's different. Ah, that's what it is, yeah. Cool. Um, a way to switch back and forth between preview and um, edit is uh, Command E or Control E on a. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Um, you can also save the file. Um, it auto saves a lot, but if you want to make sure that you've saved it, you can do Command S, which you don't have to worry about if if you're just using Obsidian by yourself. But when you start to use um, Git, it it's helpful to make sure that you've saved it. So. Um, the command S is like guaranteed save. I actually just do um, command E, switch back and forth to preview, and I'm pretty sure that saves it. <clears throat> Got it. So what is this um, this view here? Um, it's it's related pages more or less. So, uh, so you could jump around. It's got backlinks, and the other thing is it actually does it does some. It does some searching, I think. Um, it searches through all of the pages for the, the um, name of the page that you're on, I think. And that would be unlinked mentions. So that's cool. When you click on the link that doesn't exist yet, it creates a new one automatically with that title. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Obsidian will, will it, Obsidian has a setting. You can actually put all of the newly created files in a particular, in one particular directory. So when you've got a hundred files, you might want to actually gather them all into the new file or new files uh, directory and then put them in the right place later. Mm, okay. That's cool. Uh -huh. Um, another thing, interesting thing to note, I don't know if it's been obvious, but, um, you, I think you've got links that go in between subdirectories. Maybe from the massive wiki page, I think you've linked to one of the other ones, maybe. Yes. So, um, so normally we would, I mean, a computer geek would try to make that an absolute path or a relative path. Um, Obsidian does a magic thing where it kind of just looks for that file name um, anywhere and it it seems like magic to um, to a computer geek, um, uh, but it it just works for most people. You know, it's 
So the weird thing is if you have two, two pages that are named the same thing in two different directories, Obsidian isn't going to handle that super well. Oh, OK. It'll, it'll link to one and not really, and not link to the other one. But will it show two options? I, that have I the don't same think name? that it does. It should, but I don't think it does. Mm, okay. And probably someday they'll, they'll get to that. It's an obvious thing to do at some point. I like this. Yeah. I, I haven't played with this graph view very much, but it looks like it's got a lot of capability. Huh. So you can um, group. You can also click or double click on those on the dot dots and it'll go straight to it. Text fade threshold. That looks really powerful with the graphs. Like there must be templates or kind of really good examples of that happening. I'd love to see those. Yeah, this is really nice. It's simple, but like pretty clean. So um, I wonder if you could put images here. <laughs> um, images are easy to put on pages. I don't know about that graph here. I don't yeah, like that. in this little dot. I wonder if you could yeah. put a little image. That'd be kind of cool. It's a, it's a good idea. It says attachments. Mm, there you go. So. I wonder if you go to projects. So how would one add an attachment? If you make a directory called attachments. Is a directory a folder or a note? Uh, a folder. If you make a folder called attachments, there's, you don't, you don't have to, but um, it, it might kind of make things a little bit more set as attachment folder. Oh, OK. There you go. Um, so I I do it a completely different way, kind of. But if you right click inside the edit, edit the page where you're editing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. If so, if you do um, exclamation mark and then open bracket, open bracket. I don't know how you would. Well, I would cheat. So, so we're going to cheat. Sorry. Or maybe there's a different way to do this. The only way I know how to do it, if you, or one of the ways I know how to do it, um, if you right click on attachments and say show in System Explorer. So then your finder window popped open somewhere. And then if you drag a, an image into that folder, you can probably actually drag it on into that there. Now that I think about it, I did put one in there. Nothing happened though. Um, it should show up on the on the file navigator there. There we go. So now go to um, a page. And what happens if you try to drag that JPEG onto the page? Uh, not the the one in the attachment folder. I don't, I don't know. Actually, it would probably work. Oh, yeah, there we go. Exclamation point. Got so it. So then if you do um, preview, you know, if you do. Uh... Oh, cool. Oh. It's blue, <laughs> but there's no ah. <laughs> oh. I want it to show. <laughs> Semi-random question, Vincent. I, um, did you ever? I don't think I ever mentioned this, and I, I'm forgetting the name. But there's a there's a town in Italy, Vicenza. Do you know this place? I haven't Vicenza. been. Actually, but there's I a theater there. there. There's a, there was a project I was on and I was kind of uh, starting to design and produce an event out of this theater 
there, which this is reminding me of. Just look up uh, oh, the, the the sketch. Teatro in, in um, Vicenza. Anyway, go back to you. <laughs> I'm going to look it up on my phone so the recording doesn't have to suffer. But <laughs> Is this your sketch, Vincent? Yeah, this is, so this is my uh, kind of vision for, I don't know if you've seen this, Pete. This is my no, vision for cool. the, the kind of the trove of like, like each yep. network or community has their own hub or like a concourse. And in that concourse, there's different rooms. And the yep. rooms are like, so there's a library, there's a newsroom, there's an event board, there's a wall of opportunities, there's a bad idea list that feeds into the fireplace. Uh, there's a matchmaking bar, there's a tool room, a funding room. This is the ground floor is where all the building happens. This is the collaboration and this is the learning. I like the, uh, the the perspective there you've, you've got an interesting well done perspective <laughs> thanks yeah i tried uh this was my second attempt i did it at first without perspective and it was like yeah it was really weird uh and and then i was like all right i'm gonna like use a perspective but um i use a perspective for like inside each one of the rooms yeah um but it, it obviously makes it hard to like see in yeah it's true. But um, with some parallax. Be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, because you have to scroll it up and down to see it, it the perspective um, effect is, is enhanced kind of because, you know, it goes from one perspective down to the other one. So it's interesting. Thanks. So yeah, this will be kind of, this is what I want the community to feel like when you kind of go in. It's like, oh, where should I, what room should I go in? Yep. Um, so this might be an alternative way of navigating around eventually you can kind of click into the doorway and it'll take you to that section. Um, it's really cool. Thank you. I think you've got the kind of the basics of Obsidian. I think you might want to load a um, uh, load of massive wiki now. Sure. I'm ready. And I would probably pick uh, we could click, pick Flotilla Wiki or one of the the massive Wiki wikis. Um, wikis, you know, the wikis from the massive Wiki project. Maybe the one I would pick is OGM because it's going to be the richest one for right now. For I think um, up to you. I do want to have the Flotilla Wiki so I can kind of edit notes there. Yeah, to play around with a wiki, it's probably better to. I would start with the OGM Wiki. Okay, that works. And then we'll also make sure to get you hooked up to Flotilla Wiki. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, that sounds good. So, Pete, if you want to take the screen back, go for it. No, we can do it on your screen, probably okay. more just, effectively. Just check for a quick moment that picture I put the, in the Zoom link, uh, Zoom chat. There's a, pick, a, it's sort of the gallery. Um, it's there's a curve there's a curved uh, part of this theater. It's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, I was just looking up Vincenzo on my phone. I haven't been here, but uh, it looks cool. It looks like it reminds me of Bologna a bit. <laughs> oh, cool. Definitely the inspiration for, uh, yeah, Italy is definitely the inspiration for the, <laughs> the architectural choices. <laughs> yeah, I got into the, it, it, I, I thought that I was going to be co-producing basically um, projection mapping for a big kind of production concert in the theater. So I kind of was dreaming a little bit for a while. <laughs> Didn't happen. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, my... Uh... I should add that to my mood board. I don't know if I have a, a good one here to show you, but. Mm. No, I don't. Anyways, Charles, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you once I find it later. It's going to take too long now. All right, cool. I'm glad to see that image again, because I remember when you, when you put it out earlier. So it's, it's great. 
Right now it lives on my Instagram <laughs> until it becomes digitized. <laughs> but that is digitized. Oh, I mean, um, I'm anyway, working I'm, with a design a designer to illu- to actually make it a uh, vector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be cool. I'm having. All right, Pete. So take it away. What uh? <laughs> how um, how does one master with my wiki? keyboard? Actually, let me. Uh, I'm going to paste a link into. Um, the Zoom chat. So if you go there, and if you could show that um, on the share as you go there. Uh, wait, so go where? Uh, there's a link in the Zoom chat. Go to the Zoom chat. And if you chat? can okay. share your screen so that we can see your web browser. Ah, uh, okay. That's yeah, okay. I think you should see my. Do you see my web browser? No, we just see uh, Obsidian. Oh, okay. Um, I'll have to stop sharing and be sure. Um, so, sorry, this looks so technical. Um, someday, this you know, we'll make it so that this part doesn't feel so technical. Um, I wonder. Let me check. Actually, let me go to the same URL and check. If you're a member of uh, OGM yet or not, I think you aren't. I think I am, for what it's worth. Yeah. Um, yeah. To put things back, uh, you know, to push changes back, um, you need to be a member. Um, to make a pull request or just to view things and edit them on your local machine, you don't. Um, but so let me just see where we are with that, and then we can decide to either back in a sec. do things now or later. Okay, okay, so you're not a member yet, which is fine. Um, so what we need here is to click that green code button, or actually, no, wait. Do I log in we do that. to my GitHub? Um, yeah. Either way, it doesn't matter yet. I so do you have Git on your computer? Um. If I do, it's not working because I remember having a. <laughs> I don't uh, think. So. How do you want to use Git on the command line or um, through GitHub Desktop? I, I could probably download GitHub Desktop if that's easier. It's actually a little bit harder. <laughs> really? But it, it feels easier because it's not the command line. <clears throat> um, hmm. Up to you. Let's use GitHub Desktop. So then we'll get to a place where we have to f- fix things on the command line a little bit. But that's okay. Um, can you go over the hour a little bit? Uh, hold on. Let me see. Yes. Awesome. I might need to send an email though. I'm going to pause the recording for a sec. Thanks, Pete. Um, Vincent's getting uh, signed into GitHub desktop here, which is awesome. Um, and, I, and I'm on, I'm still, I'm not muted. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm in, and I see Open Global Mind and OGM Wiki. Should I? Uh, you might. Actually, can you stop the recording for a second? I just want to, I'm sure doing thing. password stuff. 
Okay, so you're now you're up on um, GitHub desktop, which is awesome. Uh, so because we're using GitHub desktop, we're going to there's there's a there's a quick uh, there's a quick way to do this which we're going to do so uh, go back to the browser with uh, github on it okay and then yeah a couple tabs to the left you can actually close this tab okay i'm going to just close that okay so now where it says code click that um, if we weren't using GitHub Desktop, we would use that top thing. And Charles, I guess actually you want to do the same thing because you've got desktop. So what we're going to do is click on Open with GitHub Desktop. But I okay, I I'm not, I wasn't in the browser at all. But so you're saying I should start there in the browser? If if you want to follow along on your computer, if you don't, I I would be totally I would love to do the same thing with you some other time. Yeah, me either, too. Either I I will try. Um, I'm not don't, on don't my screen here, so, yeah, but it's cool. It. All right. Okay, I'll just I'll just look then. Mm. But so there's so I can't so, just open directly from the desktop. In other words, um, you can. Um, you could. It's okay. On, I don't want to distract from the recording. On GitHub Desktop, there's something like uh, clone a re repository. You want to do that, and then you want to use the URL that um, I posted oh, I see. in the chat. You could do it that okay. way too. Uh, okay, cool. <clears throat> we got you part of the way set up already, which is either good or bad. So I choose local path? No, I don't know. If I'm going to do that, then. You no, know, it wouldn't be local path. I don't know exactly what it would be called, but okay. Um, okay. Oh wait, you see? Oh, oh no, in a way. I get totally confused between your screen and my screen. I started looking at my GitHub desktop like it was yours. <laughs> okay, cool. So I have clone a repository URL, and then it gives me a path. Yep. Um, so that path is in your documents folder in the GitHub subfolder, which is great. I think that's the right place to put it. So you're all, all set. Just click clone there. OK. Um, click the thing. Instead of fetch origin, click the current branch main thing up to the top of that. Um, sorry, Pete. My sister. No worries. I can. Um, what was that? Click the top left. Uh, current the current branch main. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's not what I wanted either. You were right. Click uh, current repository OJM wiki. Um, okay. I thought I would see files and stuff, but whatever. So now uh, go back to Obsidian. Uh, and over in the lower left, the top um, one is, uh, it's, it looks like a vault. It's a little vault icon. Um, so GitHub, Git, it's called repos. In Massive Wiki, we call them repos usually. In Obsidian, they're called vaults. So they're equivalent for us. So open folders, vault. OK. And then find that file path. Yep. It'll be in documents, GitHub. If you want to go there, um, click on the whole folder. Yeah. So the, there's one of the problems you can get yourself into is trying to click into that, clicking something underneath, and you don't want to. You just want to click that. Yep. I I did that myself. So I, mean, I speak from hard experience. Um, so this is kind of the same thing, right? Um, it looks like it's your personal knowledge base, except it's actually um, OGM wiki. Oh, cool. That was easy. Yep. So now you could right click on people and make a Vincent Arena document file. Well, could I duplicate one of these? 
yeah, you totally could. Which one is the most filled out? Um, I probably mine has the most YAML. It builds is good too. I, we have the same YAML. Uh, there's one that's yeah, make a copy. Then you have to do a lot of editing, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna copy your template exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I have a colleague to help you get that work together. Hey Pete, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually one of the good patterns of you know wikis and massive wiki in general. It's you know, it's totally in bounds to repurpose copy. Um. This is hilarious. <laughs> okay, in my professional life, I am a startup entrepreneur and consultant to businesses. Like, yeah, that's technically true. I do both software. I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to no code and coaching. I'm going to say end um, thinking because I don't coach on it yet. No um, coaching? <laughs> I, I'm going to change. I've worked on the internet since 1992 to 2000 and... <laughs> The funny thing is, when I read that now, I've worked on the internet. It's like, oh, you work, and it's on the internet. It's for I, what I really meant was there. I've been building the internet since. <laughs> Why notebooks? Is that too? Oh, I don't know. Compass? What's that? L laptops or. Is that what you mean, or do you really mean you want to? Yeah. No, I mean good. actual physical notebooks. Yeah. Moleskin notebooks. I'll edit this later, but um, <laughs> I am single. <laughs> Singular. <laughs> I am a grown kid. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'll edit the rest later. Um, so um, now that that's been recorded for everyone, for all of eternity to see, um, where do we go from here? Um, I, I think you should change some of the YAML data there. Yeah, OK. Otherwise, it'll be really confusing. Otherwise, we'll get sucked up into the same entry in Catalyst. So this is, I, I think I, I, I missed the, um, this is profiles, pe people in OGM Wiki. Yeah. Right, okay. And this top part, um, it's called YAML front matter because it's in YAML format, not markdown format. Um, uh, Obsidian doesn't do anything with this data, but it knows that it's different. So that's why it's in, um, that's why it's in that, uh, uh, fixed width font and if when if if and when Vincent does um, a preview of it it would actually just disappear um, because obsidian knows that it's going to be read by a computer and not by uh, and not by a, a human as much even though it's it really easy for a human to edit it Vincent you really are a clone of Pete or is it the other way around <laughs> <laughs> watching it in real time here. This is very funny. <laughs> um, is this too duplicitous or is this just? No, it's totally fine. No, I mean having the the kind of stuff here and then having it here again. I'm just wondering what the kind the, of reason that was. The pattern is humans are going to read this and computers are going to read the other. So you actually do want them both. Got it. OK. To the extent that you know it makes sense. Um, I'm also wondering. I 
I should get that. Um, so how I did like the table, I like copied and pasted the table from Airtable. Yep. I could probably do that. I could have, have probably done that. There. Where? At the end of your name. Good catch, Dan. I don't know how you saw that. <laughs> I kind of did see that too, but I couldn't be sure. Very efficient. Sunny uh, LA has Long Beach. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do some surfing, Pete? Um, body surfing. Me too. Um, I just ordered uh, some cool paddle boards for us, but um, it's a pre-order, and we won't get them until August, I think, which makes me sad. Oh, wow. But, They're fancy. And a little bit of snorkeling in, in the bay. All right. Scared to death of stepping on a, um, on a stingray. Wow. Oh. Probably a healthy fear. I think that's what they're called, unless they're skates or something. We, and, you know, we've, where we go, we actually have seen them, you know, fluttering around um, when, when you're shuffling and stomping, um, you know, in the sand. So it's, it's not like a existential, you know, dread. It's right. Like the purple jellyfish. Yeah. So how do we... Uh... Now we push, right? Yeah. So now we actually have to hook you up to be able to push. So mm. there's two parts to that. One of them is I need to make you a member of OGM um, or at least OGM Wiki. So how about if I do that? OK. Um, you want email? And yes, by email. It be email, right? Yeah, so I'm going to do it in, in um, except I think we kind of did this maybe. No. You have a GitHub. Um, Is it, it's just Vincent username. Arena, right? No, it's uh, vincent.l for lucas.arena at gmail.com. And I have a username if that's easier. The username is Vincent Arena or? The username is Vincentivize. So it's incentivized <laughs> oh. with a V at the front. Ooh, love that. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that one. <laughs> yep. Good it's, one. Uh, I, one. I, it, that was a recent one, actually. Like the last year I came up with that. I've been starting to use it as my username. I like it. Okay. I added you to the um, OGM wiki as, as, uh, with right access. So now I should see that under my um, yes. repos? If, yes. If. Well, actually, I always do it in email. I, there's, there should be some way to see it. I think you would actually see it um, in your account stuff. Actually, an inbox would do it too. Hopefully I spelled hmm. it right. Yeah, it's uh, incentivize. I, I think I got it. Uh, Vincent, I... Yeah, see, yeah. I check your email and let me know if you want to pause the recording. Uh, yeah, I want to pause it. Um, we're having trouble. It, I've I've issued invites to Vincent um, for OGM Wiki and on GitHub, and not a, he's not getting in. So I think there should be like a a little notice here that says. You know, um, uh, just for the heck of it, uh, scroll down and um, scroll up a little bit. There's, there's going to be, oh, yeah, there's not a pencil, which. What are the privacy permissions, maybe? 
Um, I set you up with uh, the thing right above right, which is maintain. So let me delete these and, and retry. I don't know why that would make a difference, but. Is it my settings? Maybe I'm not allowing myself to be invited. I, I can't imagine. Oh, you know what? Um, hold on. Maybe it's the main email. Uh, although you tried inviting me by username too. So Try Vincent.l.arena at gmail.com. Right? Before you do that, Try, I think I have two emails. Um, try catalyst network uh, at gmail.com. So that's the problem. Because right. this wanna, email is not verified, I guess. Do you want to resend the verification email and and just which which email do you do you want? I don't care. But that's the problem. Yeah. Um, uh, it's search for search for GitHub. Yeah, and do you want this not recording, by the way? This is recorded, so. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so I think we've got uh, Vincent uh, set up as a member of OJMWiki. Um, so now, um, so now I'm pretty sure we're going to hit another problem that we've got with Max at, at the moment with GitHub desktop and stuff, okay. but let's, let's go for it. So uh, go back to Obsidian and uh, we're going to install the Obsidian Git plugin. So settings all the way in lower left uh, and then community plugins because it's a third party thing and then turn off safe mode and then it really say that you want to turn off safe mode. Oh wow. We're going into uncharted territory. And then here. browse and then search for Git. And then click on that. Install. This, this, this gets uh, updated fairly regularly. It's still under active development. So um, if you're in the massive wiki channel on, on uh, Mattermost, and then turn it on there. Um, we might say, you know, oh, it's time to check for updates. That, that's the button right there for check for all your plugin updates. You don't have to do it right now, but. Got it, cool. Um, okay, so it's got its own settings, but we don't, we, we've we been leaving these totally alone. If the, it's fine the way it is. Um, but the thing that we do do is go over to hotkeys. Um, every plugin can in, uh, install hotkey actions. So type git into the filter. Um, the top one we want to ignore. The next one down, we want to put command uh, U uh, for the U and push kind of. That one we want to put uh, command semicolon is the current one that we're using. And the next one down is command L for the L and pull. And then you're good here. Close that. Um, and then the next step is actually just, so then uh, you asked about the process, you know, what do I do when I'm working on stuff? Um, uh, you do L to get new changes, which you don't have to do right now. Um, and then you do U to push changes up back to the cloud, sync them back to the cloud. So do that right now, command U. And then you'll notice down on the, so this is your commit message um, uh, added, yeah, um, added uh, my profile page or something like that. Um, this control is a little bit weird. Uh, just ignore the the things with the dates. Um, you could select those, but you don't really need to because um, because Git is going to keep track of the dates anyway. So just hit return. Okay. And then we're going to watch the status bar down at the bottom. Um, committed files. Okay. So this is this is the failure that I was expecting. Um, I could not read username. Um, and it's and it's a a problem betwixt um, GitHub desktop and command line desktop, des uh, command line Git. Um, so we're going to go to the command line and fix this. Okay. Um, so open terminal or your preferred terminal program if you have another one. Uh, and then 
change directory to that the directory with the, the stuff in it um you mean in this here uh no terminal? in in the terminal so now the change that we're going to make might actually break github desktop you could actually just close github desktop at this point and you might not open it again um so uh cd tilde slash capital d uh cd space sorry uh tilde slash this is tilde right yep forward slash uh yep and then d tab capital d tab uh sorry um tab tab key well autocomplete documents is what i'm trying to get you to type uh, D O C tab. Um, and then capital G tab. And then small O tab. Return. Um, now type git space push. Return. So this is no, nah, don't don't fill in your. So, um, you could put in your username here, but you would have to do it every time you did a push. So, um, we're gonna fix this in a little bit of a technical way. Um, uh, and that's kind of the easiest, the the the, the quickest. It's the quickest way to do it right now. Um, Bill and I are work, working on getting through this, but we haven't yet. So hit control C for that. Um, there are in some instructions for this on GitHub in the docs, but we're just going to kind of, we're going to, well, actually, no. Um, uh, go to your web browser and do GitHub docs new key pair. Um, yep, that's the one we want. So we're just going to follow these instructions. So copy that. Um, if you the dollar sign is meant to mean it goes into your terminal. So yeah, just that part. Um, this doesn't have GUI editing. It's only, yeah. Yep. Uh, just hit return. I, I can walk you through most of this. Okay. Uh, we didn't do one of the things that we're kind of supposed to do. Um, well, that answers the question. So it's asking for a passphrase here, and this is an obs uh, it's an archaic thing, I think. Um, in the olden days, we used to password protect our secret keys, um, private keys, because other people were logging into our computer. Um, we mm -hmm. all shared the same computer. Since I think this is probably a, just a computer for you, yeah. um, we don't need that extra layer of security. So you're not going to have a passphrase. So just hit return, return. It's going to ask you twice. Um, so now uh, you have a public key and a private key in the directory .ssh. Um, uh, so let's go back to the instructions, um, and we're going to skip a bunch where it's talking about SSH agent, because the SSH agent is related to the passphrase, which is obsolete, kind of. So now, uh, right there, yep. Um, so the part we didn't do is check for existing SSH keys. Um, it's fine. You didn't have even a .ssh directory. So now you want to do that PB copy thing. Uh, what this is going to do is put the contents of that file um, into your 
um, clipboard. Uh, the PB stands for pasteboard. This command is old enough that it's back in the days when Apple called it a pasteboard instead of a clipboard. Mm. So just hit return. Okay. That's the standard file name and you're all good. So now we're really close to being done. Um, we're just going to paste that into the right place in settings, uh, SSH keys. Under Obsidian? Um, in, in, the Git, in your GitHub settings. The GitHub desktop or on the, I mean, no, on the uh, browser? Just, uh, just quit out of GitHub desktop, actually. And the browser, yeah. So this whole process here is setting up so your computer can automatically talk to GitHub as you. Got it. Um, uh, in the upper right, uh, your icon. And then settings. And then scroll pretty far down to SSH and GPG keys. Um, and then the new, yep. And then paste it into the key thing. Um, this. Yep. And then in the title, um, put, this is going to help you remember that this key is related to the, the file that you just created. So a good, a good convention for this is the name of your computer and the date. Um, all of this is a human readable note. It's not, um, you know, it's not computer or anything. So it's, it's for you to help remember it. So then the click just, uh, that's great, add SSH key. Um, now you have a, a list of one keys um, and you can distinguish them by the name. Um, cool. So if you ever want to revoke this, like if your got, computer got stolen, um, you could delete it and then GitHub won't let that key log in anymore. Mm, got it. Well, I really like this. I'm, I'm totally copying this. That highlight? Yeah, I like how it's gray with a red text, and then when you hover, it becomes red. Yeah, that's like a really good pretty. convention. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so, my computer, this computer is BB-8, and then my, my big machine, my, not my laptop, is the Death Star. <laughs> My phone <laughs> is R2-D2, and my iPad is C-3PO. Oh, come on. Such a nerd. <laughs> I, I stood in line all day in Westwood, California, for the world premiere of Star Wars. Just to really date that's a, myself. That's a good story. Yeah. How? Wow. Well, you were young at the time. I was. Because I think... You might be younger than me, and I was pretty young when Star Wars came out. Yeah, I'm a little younger than you, but not as much as you might think. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, so now there's an interesting bug in the um, in the plugin. It's it stalls there. It should have given you an error message. It's like you know, it's like, dude, you know, something went wrong. So this is a bug that we need to get the plugin. Um, we need to report it to the plugin developer and fix it. Uh, I I don't just know. Push again. <laughs> just try it again. Just try uh, command U again. And sorry, I didn't it uh, change save your your thingy. And just hit return. Okay, I think so. It's interesting that kind of pushed it into figuring out that it was. What I would recommend is actually closing this Obsidian window, and then reopening it. Uh, and the way to reopen it, you don't have to close all of them. Um, I don't think. Uh, so it's the vaults button down at the lower left. And yeah. So then command you again.
oh, we forgot one step. I got so excited to actually just try it that um, uh, there's one more thing we need to do on the command line. Let me look it up real quick. Um, hang on just a sec. Pete, don't take this the wrong way, but uh, <laughs> it's not ready for prime time. No, I was going to say this is making me rethink how much effort I've been putting into like getting the onboarding process for Catalyst pixel perfect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, oh, this button is too big. I need to make it a little smaller. People are going to judge it. Versus like, all right, it seems like we're getting an error. Open the command line. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I totally, totally get that. Um, <laughs> uh, hang on just a sec. Uh, I'm shuffling windows around here. Hang on. Um, okay, so I am going to the massive wiki channel. Is Char Charles, you're still here? Yeah, yeah. Um, Just uh, tuning in. I might have a little surprise for you. Okay. If you want. I take a deep breath or something? <laughs> <laughs> I could send you a... Uh, I'm ready to send out some of the uh, in invites for Catalyst with the new new system if you want to tell me how it works. <laughs> Okay, uh, of course. I mean, sure, send it on. What, uh, where, and what? Um... You will get uh, an email, and it should be pretty clear from there. Um, and you, I added you as an admin of Kiko Lab and Systems Innovators already. Okay. So let's um, see. I, I okay. pasted a command uh, for the terminal for you, Vincent. Okay, thanks. It, that's relating to profiles, or it does. I, I'll, I'll check it out and just go from there. So all you need to know, Charles, is that you have an email in your inbox whenever you're ready to um, to get on to the catalyst. Like enter the portal. Yeah, like have like basically to set your password and then be able to like log in and have your edit your profile and. Uh, and you'll also be able to edit Kiko Labs like profile and accept people, all that good stuff. Sweet. Uh, um, so this is the real charmer, fourth time. <laughs> it's, it's gonna work this time. All right. Oh, except I I would close this Obsidian window before trying because it gets in that weird state. Let's try again. Um, <laughs> They're getting shorter each time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, host wow. key verification failed. That's a new one. Could not read. I should have. Oh, yeah. Go back to the terminal. Sorry. Uh, do git space poll return. Type yes. Return. Okay, that's an interesting one. I, I, we bumped into that in a different way previously, so I didn't remember that we needed to do that. Um, okay, okay, fifth attempt, the real, real charmer. This is the gonna real, work. real. I'm sure, real. <laughs> it's got to at this point. Uh, 
no that's yeah. okay that one is okay and then it it has to say pushed but when it says pushed you're good so now it's it's worked cool so now if i go to my obsidian and do a pull i'll get it um and you can edit as many different files as you want and, and it'll just work more or less unless it doesn't if it ever doesn't work um find find me or, or um or bill cool okay but yeah. now you're back to it should be super simple um you do the um if you ever want to see everybody else's changes you do command l and if you want to see if you want everybody else to have your changes you do command u and wait until it says pushed got it okay cool awesome we're good sometimes it will take a little bit longer than that because it's there's a couple steps sometimes it needs to take um so now flotilla wiki so <laughs> add a new vault um no don't add a new vault uh, clone you want to copy it from the cloud oh, okay then, so, and then, do, you, so do you suppose it would be a terrible cop out if i if i signed out guys no not at all thanks I, for um, hanging i feel like i actually got quite a lot but I think I need to shift gears over here. Yeah. Um, we'll see and I have then. a little home, homework to do for the other thing. Yep. So cool. Much love. Um, Thanks, Charles. We'll I see guess ya. that's it for now. Vincent, I will be glad to check out your email. Thanks for that. Thank awesome. you, Pete. Thank you, Thanks, Charles. Charles. All right. In a minute. All right. Talk um, to go to github.com slash flotilla. Flotilla something. Hang on. Let me look. Um, uh, I'll, I'll paste it. It's kind of long. Okay, go to there. It's flotilla dash tools dash four dash connectors. <laughs> um, so uh, GitHub, if you don't have permissions, it will 404 like that. So I think. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say maybe it's. The... <laughs> I don't know. That was a weird. So now I add, need to add you to this wiki. Okay. Um, cool. Let me do that. Which to pull it, you don't actually need to be a member of it if it's a public wiki. But um... should I still open with GitHub Desktop? No, it's it's we'd have to fix it again and it's going to be easier just to do it on the command line for better or for worse but actually then you can see the way that works too which is kind of cool okay um I was going to add you to the Flotilla Tools for Connectors organization. But now I don't see how to do that. So I guess I'll just add you to the wiki for now, and then we'll figure out that later. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, no, I was just looking in the wrong place. Um, uh, okay, so if you hit refresh on that 404, no, actually, it wasn't 404, was it? Um, if you hit refresh on that wiki, I think you'll have an invite. Let's see. The other way to do it, um, click on Flotilla Tools for Connectors in the um, in the breadcrumb there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then click on Flotilla Wiki down there. 
and click on the green code thing, except this time we're going to do it the other way. Um, so click on SSH there and then click the copy. Yeah. So, okay. and then we're going to put that in um, terminal. So do CD space dot dot to go up one directory level space and then, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just like that. And then git space clone space um, pa uh, ta uh, paste, sorry. Um, con command V or not, so not the word paste, but. <laughs> cool. Yep. And then return. Um, and then I believe you'll be good to go. So go to Obs Obsidian, open new vault. Um, create or open folders vault. Ah, nice. And then it's actually a good thing. And as a, as a developer, you'll understand why, but every single um, Obsidian vault has its own settings. So you have to install the Git plugin in this one too. And set up the hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, turn that on. I use semicolon for that one, which it's not mnemonic or anything, but it's close to L is the reason I picked it. Interesting bug. <laughs> Uh, and then you should change something and I could, well, I could post the, the page I started to a new page in here if you want, or uh, you could make a people folder and then make yourself in it. Uh, you could actually just copy that whole file from the other one. And the way I would do that is um, right click on it in the navig file navigator there. Um, or, or maybe the three dot menu, I don't know. The three dot menu would work too. Uh, open in show in system explorer. And then do command C there. And then, and then uh, command up arrow, command up arrow. Yeah, or that way. Um, you can you could do Command V, and then it'll ask if you want to overwrite that one. I think, mm -hmm. or you can move move that one to trash either way. Yeah, it's not letting me paste. Um. Move that one to trash. I wonder if that's blocking it. I don't think that's the problem, but. Or open another finder window and drag it. No, I guess you wouldn't want to do that. Holy crap. Google's copying all these files to Google Drive for you. Oh, because it's in my documents? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh... <laughs> That's an interesting, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature. No, it's a feature. I, I'll turn it off, though. Yeah, this it's, is how. It's totally I fine it. if that happens, but. No, I, I don't. I probably don't want that. Um, so maybe we should recommend that people don't put it in documents or yeah, think about it. Yeah, so I have my documents do. syncing. Yeah, yeah, it makes total um, sense. <clears throat> oh, wait, can you change the... 
subfolders. Uh, you could move all of them out out of documents if you want. That would be fine. You can let it sync too. They won't, they won't be big for a while. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to note to <laughs> figure that out. But yeah, let's see if this works. Yay. So now you should be able to do, yeah. Nice, OK. Poof. Great. Congratulations. Thanks for sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I would feel that, well, so, so you might, so another, another massive wiki that's kind of useful to be hooked up with is uh, Massive Sandbox, which is kind of the developer wiki for Massive. And it's also kind of like a scratch, like you could put anything in there and nobody will be sad. Um, so that might be one thing you want to do, hook up yet another another one. Another thing you could do, we could have a sandbox folder in the flotilla wiki and that might be more, that, that might be more homey actually. Um, feel free to put anything in flotilla wiki that you think goes there. Okay, cool. Yeah. And even if, even if it's like a sandbox folder or something like that or ideas or sketches or whatever. Okay, great. Um... So cool. OGM wiki is, is actually interesting enough to, to use the, the graph thing with. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder how, do we have a tag? Even though I think it's probably fairly simple. Um, there's two tags, I think, in OGM wiki right now. Um, uh, Obsidian does hashtags, which is not quite a markdown thing, but has two attachments. Um, I'll stop the recording because we got uh, we got you up and going on two wikis, which is awesome. <laughs>